situation in those parts of the world was terrible. There were wars, there was poverty, there was discrimination, and more than anything else, there was a new dream, America. And suddenly word came to, to the old world, you know what, in the United States, you can get jobs, you can make money, you can have family, you can go to school, you have opportunities, you don't have them here. And so a, a number of the young bachelors and young single women had the idea, why don't we try a new life? My grandmother, Romy, used to tell us when she left and she said goodbye to her parents and she knew then she would never see them again. And the parents said, you have to go to America because there's no future for you here. And the parents knew they would never see their children again. Those people were made out of material that you don't see that anymore. They were gutsy people. They were people who wanted to make the world a better place for themselves and do everything in their power to make it better for their children and for their grandchildren. It was, it was awesome. My grandmother was born in America. So her mother came here. I never thought beyond her mother, my great-grandmother. And now I think about the generation before that. I think about my great-grandmother's parents who saw their daughter leave with her children from Warsaw to get to America. That's what I think about. And I think about how they had no idea that there would be any future for their family, for their bloodline, or for the Jewish people. No, I can't imagine what it must have felt like when you stood at that rail siding, or you stood at that port and realized it was the last hug and the last kiss you would probably ever get. Maybe that was the way even the group that stayed kept faith with the future, is they offered their kids to go on that journey that they couldn't take.